Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, My Two Cents by Melody. And as you all know, I created this channel to promote beauty on the inside as well as the outside. So today we're going to be reviewing the Jaclyn Hill eyeshadow palette. However, this palette is a beautiful palette. It came in this beautiful white packaging and this is the back of the box. It has pictures of Jaclyn Hill here and she looks so beautiful. She looks really beautiful she kind of looks like a Jacqueline doll I like the photo shoot it's very girly and at this side of the box she wrote a note to her subscribers which I do want to read for you guys creating this palette has truly been a dream come true for me Morphe gave me full creative control and allowed me to customize my dream palette for everyone to enjoy every shade was customized by me and I really hope you guys love it as much as I do I wanted a range of neutrals and pops of colors to accommodate all skin tones. I put my heart and soul into this palette. I hope my pickiness pays off. Excellent, old Jacqueline. And I think it did. I think it really did. This palette literally accommodates everyone. It literally, the pigmentation in it is really good for most of the colors, not necessarily for all of it, but for most of it, I would say. And I appreciate the personal touch that it has here. I mean, you don't necessarily see that in all eyeshadow palettes. Now I'm going to turn my lights back on so that you guys can see my swatches and things like that. Oh, um, basically, um, when you open this box, it comes with styrofoam and the palette is right in here. And the front of it has, um, Sorry, it's going to reflect a bit, but I'll try. So the front of it has her name on it, and I like it for that. And then the back of it has the colors on it. And it actually has the name. So I like this version of this palette better because I know many people have been saying, oh, they don't necessarily know the names of the color. Like, because basically before, the names of the color were on a film, and then once you throw away that film, then you don't know the names of the eyeshadows in this palette. However, one thing I would say is that, like, can you see this color right here? It's meant to be like a, look at this color. It's meant to be a beautiful green. However, when you turn to the back, it shows a dark color here. I think that color is actually this color. So they basically mislabeled it like in an opposite direction. So all the colors here, like on this side, actually are over on this side in terms of the names. So I just think like, I guess um, there's something about the naming. I feel like they're still trying to create a good packaging. Whoever is packaging this um, might be making a little bit of error. So just a little bit on quality control. However, um, I just like that. It's just a very personal palette coming from Jacqueline, who is a YouTuber. These are the colors. As you can see, I have dug into these colors a lot. And I like this eyeshadow. Most of the colors are pigmented. Not all of them, but most of them. Actually, specifically... Um, actually, specifically this color right here. Um, I just expected a little bit more from this color, but every time I use it, I mean, it looks pretty on the hand. But then when you, I mean, and but when you swatch it, it's just, and when you're using a brush with this color, it doesn't show up as good. It doesn't show up like with a brush with your fingers, it's going to show up. But then with a brush, it doesn't show up. And I'll link another YouTuber who kind of mentioned it as well. Because when I purchased this eyeshadow palette, that was the color I wanted on my face. That was the color I wanted on my face. But it didn't show up that well on my eyes. On my eyes. However, there every other color in this palette, very beautiful. Very beautiful, very pigmented. Let me swatch um, this color for you guys. Look at that. Look at this pigmentation. I mean, forget this one color. Look at this color. It is so pigmented and it's dual chrome. Can you guys see? It's like greenish blue right here. I love this color so much. I'm going to try this color. Look at that pigmentation. I'm going to try this purple eyeshadow. Purple is my favorite color, by the way. If you guys don't know and if you want to know, fun fact about me. Very beautiful. 
this palette is $38. Every other high-end eyeshadow brand is going to sell, is going to produce something like this and charge you like a hundred and something dollars. But the colors here are very high quality. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's just a beautiful palette. So I swatched a few colors here and I hope you guys can see. This is a very beautiful palette. It's so funny because this palette is very versatile. But back, that being said, um, I can only use very few colors on this that will actually show up on my skin. I don't really do the first top row. I like most of the colors on this side, on this side of the palette. I really like this, this, this side right here. If they can make this corner an eyeshadow palette, I'll purchase it. Like, apart from this color, though this color doesn't show up well. But in everything else, like, if they swap this color out with this, if they swap them, and then made this a palette I would really love it and then this colorful area I love as well um, let me swatch one more color for you guys I'll do the gold because I love gold right here I'm using my thumb This palette is a very beautiful palette. I have nothing bad to say about it, apart from the fact that it doesn't have a mirror at the top of it. Um, however, and then also the packaging, it's pretty easy to get it stained. I don't know if you guys can see all of my smudges on it. However, um, you can just wipe it down. I don't, I don't have anything to say. I'm trying to look for things to say about this that is bad, but really, I think this is a very perfect palette. I think that this palette is for, um, someone who is very new to eyeshadow it can be a bit overwhelming though to see all these colors it can be a little bit overwhelming however i think just take your time just take your time with the palette you would enjoy it if you're new to makeup you're new to eyeshadows but you want beautiful eyeshadow looks and you don't necessarily want to pay the high-end brand because all of these colors are showing your face the thing with the other drugstore makeup is like you might actually if you are my skin tone you might find that some colors don't show on your face and some do but all of these colors will show maybe apart from not the first row but most of the colors here will show on your face which is why i like it like um it's very versatile when jacqueline hill says she was trying to accommodate everyone she really was and there's enough to do every single type of look you want to do while you're learning makeup also, if you want something that is like at the edge of affordability and quality, I wouldn't necessarily say this is the cheapest palette. However, this is one of the more affordable palettes that can like literally, if you have this palette, this is all you need. If you're not too into makeup and you have this palette, this is literally all you need. So if you want something at the edge of affordability and quality, this is a very good palette to have. I know the other Morphe um, eyeshadows tend to retail for around $23 or $28, but I would pay the price of this because I get a lot more. I get my neutrals, I get my pop of colors, I get my smoky eye just from this palette. I love it. I really think that if you're looking for, if you're new to makeup, and you're looking for something to buy where you wouldn't be breaking the bank and getting everything you want in an eyeshadow palette I mean just get this palette look at it it's just very gorgeous um, so yeah I've enjoyed my time using this eyeshadow palette I do like it I'm going to link other people's videos on reviewing this palette down below if you want to see more um, and also look at the swatches here like I said it's a very beautiful palette I just swatched a few colors <clears throat> so guys thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you soon I had fun filming this video so bye beautiful people